Hello all my angels. Before I get into this video, I do have to thank God for getting us this far. Um, you can see with the balloons, I'm kind of like just celebrating that this life that is about to be born into this world through me and it's just very exciting. I just want to talk about the changes that I have experienced in the third trimester. The first thing, weight gain. Of course, this is the time in your pregnancy where you're going to gain the most weight. Everybody's just like, whoa, you're not small anymore. You blew up. Me and baby Sammy, yes, we have grown According to doctors, baby is gaining an ounce a day. So that's exciting. I got about five or so more pounds to gain before I'm completely done with gaining weight. And I couldn't be happier. Healthy, you're expected to gain between 30 to 35 pounds. So I'm right on track. I feel like when I eat now, my eyes are much bigger than what my stomach can really take. I don't have space for large meals. Uh, I think during my second trimester was when I was eating the most, but now I just eat more frequently and in smaller intervals. So like when doctors tell you, you should have six small meals a day, which at first sounded crazy to me. I understand we're talking small, like maybe a third of a meal. My cravings are the same. I crave fruit, juice, things of that nature, water. Yeah, baby Savvy is just easy. She's been so great to me. Another change that I will say intensifies so much during your third trimester is pressure. That baby hair is like all in pelvis, like all in your pelvis. So you will start to feel that even more. I would say about 32 weeks is when I really noticed that, wow, there's like a head in the middle of my <laughs> especially I notice it when I get up in the morning and I'm getting out of bed I'm starting to have to walk myself up out of bed with my hands and take it very slowly when getting out of bed that morning stretch that you always want to do is now becoming harder because I just don't want to pull anything so I have to ease into that and it's just because of the pressure that the baby is now putting on your body I've always been a side sleeper so my sleep has not been affected that much by this whole new, you know, addition to my body. But I think if you are not used to being a side sleeper, um, then this is the time in your pregnancy you might experience some discomfort while sleeping. I've just been snuggling up with my little bump and we've been good. My yoga ball is my best friend. I'm actually sitting on it right now if you can't tell but yes this is the only thing that i enjoy sitting on nowadays everything else provides no type of comfort at all no matter if it's memory foam a cushion chair a chair with a nice cushion or anything like that it's still very uncomfortable to get up i wouldn't say to sit always unless it's like a hard surface yes it does hurt to sit but I experience the most discomfort when I am rising from whatever I'm sitting on other than my yoga ball. And this yoga ball is helpful because it keeps me limber. It keeps me, I feel like, ready for or getting me ready for labor, getting me limber and all those stretches that I cannot do on any other type of platform. I can do it here. So yes, get you a yoga ball. In my notes, the next change is labeled effing fatigue and because it is just something that's now at this point very uncontrollable um i did go into work about two or three days during this trimester and let me tell you hopefully my employer is not watching but i have never fell asleep standing up in my life to this point <laughs> I'm talking about like at the at the printer, like putting stuff, putting documents through, like nodding off, like <laughs> real fatigue. Like you just get so tired and you can't control it. And I know one thing that really makes me tired is eating. 
after every meal I just get this like overpowering urge to lay down and it's dangerous so just one thing to note and the last change I would say I experienced during this third trimester is what people refer to as nesting or like preparing for a baby and all that good stuff. But one of the things that does come with that excitement is like preparation, wanting everything to be absolutely perfect at this point. And I think this is kind of brought on also about all the baby things that are now entering your life that are kind of taking over. If you have a baby shower or if you're just shopping for yourself. It's stuff that has to be placed in certain places that have never been before or you have to figure out how you want to arrange things and this is just encouraging this whole building of a nest situation that mothers go through. So that is my final change during my third trimester. Things are getting so exciting at this point and I just want to thank you all for watching and continuing to go through this journey with me. All the mamas out there, all the angels out there, all the mama angels out there. I really do think you all are a blessing and I hope you all continue watching. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.